In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create this particular line art effect, or in fact, how to take your current animations and render them out to give this particular line art effect to any animation you already have. So suppose you already have an animation, for example, this one that we have over here, you can see it's already been animated. Now, this particular animation could be kept just as is before you add any material itself. However, the process works even if you've already added materials, as you can see over here. So irrespective of how you've textured the materials, or even if you haven't textured any of the materials, the process works the same. It's just a few buttons. So let's get right into that. The first thing that you want to do is change the render engine over here from Eevee to Workbench. Once you're in Workbench, make sure that you change it from your solid view to your rendered view so that you can see what you're doing. Now scroll down and make sure that you switch on X-Ray and you bring it down all the way to zero. Apart from that, also make sure that you have your outline checked. Now your world would generally be some sort of a lighter color. And similarly, your outline would also by default be black. So if this is the type of outline that you want, well and good. But in case you want it to be more prominent, what I found better for my scene was to change the outline color all the way to white and go into the world properties and changing the color of the world all the way to black. This gives a really nice look. And the best part about this is that it'll work with any of your current animations. And all you have to do is hit the render after selecting those few buttons. But remember a few details about this sort of rendering. This works really great for things that make sense in two dimensions. But if you try to use objects that require a third dimension, you can't always tell the difference. For example, if we were to add in a cube, you can see that to somebody actually watching this animation, they wouldn't be able to tell that it's a cube, especially if the cube was rotated to something like this. It actually just looks like it's a two dimensional hexagon that's been drawn somewhere in the scene. So you have to make sure that the object that you're using works well when it's just the outlines because you're only going to get the border of each object and you're not going to get each object by itself. You're not going to get each of the edges marked using this particular technique. Beyond that, if you want to know how to create this particular animation, I already have an entire time lapse of this particular video and me creating all of the textures for them as well uploaded on this particular channel. If you have any specific doubts or want to know how to create any of these specific animations, let me know and I'll create tutorials for those as well. Until then, I hope you learned something from this really quick tutorial. And until the next video comes out, Happy New Year and stay creative.